One of the things that we should do before we start jumping into the technical details of Excel is take a quick look at the history of what spreadsheets are. Excel, first of all, is a spreadsheet program. The first spreadsheet program and the software that really launched the personal computer revolution, the, the thing that caused really a lot of companies to buy and a lot of people to buy the first personal computer, which was created by IBM, was a spreadsheet program. Before spreadsheet programs existed, people in accounting and business would have to run the numbers. They would have to write numbers into a ledger sheet, do the math, and if they made a mistake early on, they would have to go back and fix everything and all of the chain of events that followed. And so the spreadsheet program was really a godsend for folks in business that had to deal with this. And so purchasing of a spreadsheet program alone was justification in many cases to buy personal computers. So if you're a gamer or if you're anything out there who enjoys using the computer, you can thank all of this because of spreadsheet programs. The first spreadsheet program was not Excel. In fact, it was something called VisiCalc, and it was created by a gentleman named Dan Bricklin, and it was released back in 1979. Microsoft's Excel came on the scene a little bit later. It was initially released in 1987, and it's part of the Microsoft Office Suite. Programs that you're going to find in the Microsoft Office Suite include things like the Word Processing Program, Microsoft Word, of course, the Spreadsheet Program Excel, the database program called Access, you have the Email and Calendar Program called Outlook, and then you also have Skype, which is their telecommunications meeting software. There are different versions and editions of Microsoft Excel. Versions such as Excel 2013, 2016, 2019, and the Office 365 version. It's important to understand a little bit more about these versions because they can be a little bit confusing. Right now, and what you're going to be learning is the most current version of Excel as of the recording of this video we are going to use Office 365, the Excel found there. Office 365 is a subscription service. It's part of this whole new thing called software as a service. This seems to be the going thing right now for a whole bunch of different companies. So Microsoft's doing this, Adobe's doing this. You basically pay a monthly rate or you pay it annually to use the software. Depending on what subscription you choose, you'll get different Office applications. So for example, I have the business version of 365. So I also get Skype for Business or they just switched us over to Teams. This is always up to date. They are patching it automatically. So you always have the latest and greatest from Microsoft. The other version you need to be aware of is Office 2019, the Excel 2019 version. This is a one-time purchase. This is the more traditional way that we used to buy software. You buy the software, you own the software, it's yours forever. It's typically packaged as part of the Microsoft Office Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So it's combined in that Microsoft Office. Now currently, this is interesting, Microsoft is trying to get people to not buy Office 2019. They're trying to push people into the Office 365. The final version you need to be aware of is Office Online. This is a free version of Office. All you need to do to use Office Online is have a Microsoft account, which is free to create, and you need to be online. You need to use this via a web browser. To find out which version of Excel you have is a fairly simple thing to do. Taking a look first at a blank spreadsheet. When you launch a spreadsheet, this is what it's gonna look like, but to find out what version you have, it's fairly simple. You're going to go over here to the top left side and click on File. File brings you into something called the Backstage area. From the Backstage area, you can see different options. For example, Info, Save, Save As, Save As Adobe, PDF, etc., etc. To see which version of Excel you're running, go down here to the bottom left-hand side to something called Account. When you click on it, another window opens up. And from here, you can see different account information. You can see that it's registered to my consulting business, Scott at scottfordconsulting.com. You can see I have in my office background here, my office theme, but over here is the product information. You can see that I'm running Microsoft Office 365 for business. 
And I have access, as you can see, to Access, Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, a Publisher, Word, and Skype. So the version of Excel that I'm using is the 365 business. One of the things you should consider as you go through this course is getting ready to and taking the Microsoft Office Specialist Certification. These are certifications offered by Microsoft covering the main programs in their suite. They cost around $100 to take. Now that's not much in the world of certification exams. There are certification exams out there that cost a whole heck of a lot more money than $100. One of the nice things about the Microsoft Office Specialist Certification is that it's a lifetime certification. Your certification never expires. The software that you have the certification in might get a little old. For example, I have an old mouse certification, that's what it used to be called before they moved it to Microsoft Office Specialist, in Word 2000. So as you can see, I still have that certification, but it's a little non-important because of how old that product is. So certification is for life. And you can find out more information by going to the link that you see right now on your screen. There are different levels of the Microsoft Office experience. You have the entry level, which is the Microsoft Office Specialist Certification. You have the Microsoft Office Specialist Certification, the Specialist Expert. And if you get mastery of all of them, you can become a Microsoft Office Specialist Master. How good are these? Why would you need them? They help on a resume. They can help open up different career options. They can lead to promotions and more money. Certifications are usually a good thing. So at the very least, look at how these might help you in your career.